Jalen here. Everybody wants to talk about him, but what kind of off season has Marlon had, and, and how confident are you that he can kind of take the next step? Um, Marlon's had a good off season. Um, most importantly, uh, he's had a good week of practice. Uh, you know, preparing for uh, uh, Utah State. You know, both on and off the field, coming in, watching extra film, uh, ask, uh, asking really good questions in meetings, and uh, going out performing well on the practice field. So um, he's had a good week of practice, getting ready for Utah State. How your you know, seniors always seem to either bring it or don't bring it. You know, their senior year. Have you kind of seen a, an edge with him knowing that this is his final go round? Yeah, I mean, um, all those guys uh, that are seniors kind of know that their days are numbered. You know, so I think they kind of take. Uh, every practice to heart because they know they're just one closer to being away from here. So uh, I think Marlon falls in that category of a guy that realizes he doesn't have many many games left and he wants to leave uh, uh, leave this season with a winning standard. You know, Jalen talked about how much Marlon's helped him since mm-hmm. he got here. Has that been different from Marlon since when you got here and first was around him? How, how different is it? It's, I mean, it's been a lot different. You know, uh, it, it's been great to have an older guy like Marlon around. Uh, you know, to help bring along. Uh, Jalen Hurd, uh, Darrell Scott, and those guys. So, you know, I think um, um, last year we took our bumps and bruises, and and, and, and we, you know, uh, uh, took some bruise, bumps on the chin. I think those things, those experiences, helped Marlon be a better leader this year. What's Devin Young brought to the table as a senior? Versatility. You know, uh, uh, he's hungry. Uh, you know, he, he's been moved around to a lot of positions. So he's able to do things um, out of the backfield that some of those guys aren't equipped to do. You know, Devin's a very good athlete. Um, he brings speed and quickness that um, a couple of those guys don't have. have. Have you told Marlon, you know, give Jalen some advice first week in Neyland? How's he handling the leadership role? You know, we, uh, we've all chipped in. I mean, I, I, I've given, given him advice from a coaching standpoint. You know, Marlon, you know, pulls him aside during practice and kind of explains how the speed of the game will change in the game. But uh, in all reality, he won't realize it until he's in the middle of it. You know, we, we, we can try to simulate it in practice with noise and babies crying and different things like that. But until you put the ball down, there's 102,455 fans and, 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 and your opponent across from you, which you don't know him personally, then that's when the, 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 the live bullets fly and you kind of get a feel for what the speed of the game is. So he's going to learn on the go in front of 100,000 fans on, on Sunday night. Mentioned the fans. How big is it to be a, sit, a sellout and the advantage it brings for the offense? Oh, it's great. I mean, that, that's that. That's a part of who we are. I mean, um, Neyland Stadium. You know, uh, we, we have to use that to our advantage. I mean, it, it has to become a weapon uh, for our offense. Uh, and also for our defense. So, uh, you know, obviously it's great to be able to open up at home and um, uh, excited that the fans are coming out to support Team 118. Where does, where does Jalen compare to other freshman backs you've coached in terms of this guy can be ready to go first snap, first game? You, you know what, um, uh, maturity. You know, uh, obviously everyone wants to look at his physical stature and uh, let that be the first thing. But, uh, you know, Jalen's biggest thing is, is, is he's a very mature uh, kid for his age, and, and, and this is the moment he's been waiting for for a long time. So, again, uh, um, he's going to go out there and he's going to grow and become a better football player with every snap. And, uh, like I said, the hardest part of what we do is that he's going to learn and mature in front of 100,000 fans. Is there a number of reps that you would you have in mind going in tomorrow or Sunday that you want him to get, or is it just as the game flows? As the game flows. I mean, he dictates how much he plays. You know, obviously, uh, um, he'll play uh, uh, early, and, uh, you know, what he does throughout the game, uh, the ball security, uh, making plays when he has his hands on the ball, all those things will factor into how much he plays. Coach, with him not playing much last year in his senior season, how hungry is Jalen Hurd to get back out on the football field? And do you think there will be any sort of rust that he'll have to shake off? No, nah, I mean, he'll be like anybody. Uh, Marlon Lane played last year at Tennessee, and he'll have rust. You know, all those guys uh, will uh, – uh, We've tried to simulate, you know, game type of situations with noise and crowd and competition. But I mean, it's nothing like being out there in front of, you know, uh, an opponent, you know, uh, someone you don't know. So uh, he, he'll have just as much of a learning curve as a Marlon Lane, Devin Young, and all those guys. So, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm just excited to see what he's going to do and see how all those guys are going to respond. How has he responded to the uh, in the tempo of the offense? Well, you know, uh, like I said, he graduated early.
as you guys have been watching the weather, mm -hmm. just how much are you, you all preparing for rain and how yeah. have the backs responded? Well, every week we try to get at least one day of, okay. uh, of, of uh, water work with the buckets and ball security and catching the wet balls because you never know. You know, uh, you know I, I obviously uh, we embrace the challenge of a, a wet game. Um, if it rains, hell, I mean, the ball has to be in our hands a little bit more, and we welcome that challenge as a running back group. So uh, um, we don't blink. You know, whatever the weatherman says, we'll be ready for any element. Do you think you'll see any difference in Marlon on game day? Because he's, I mean, he's never really been the 1A back, the feature right. guy that, you know, you're carrying the load for, yeah. for you know. Um, we'll see once he gets out there. Hopefully he's prepared and ready to go, and I think he is. I think he's uh, waited long enough, and I think it's his chance to finally show us he can play. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Coach. No